Needless to say, we have a snow day. Happy Monday. I'm not even gonna bother putting on clothes yet. Bathrobe it is. Oh my gosh. Uh, supposed to get close to two feet of snow. Great. Shed a little light on this situation. Yikes. Look at that. Uh, never leaving. <laughs> I just have a lot of cleaning to do today. I completely ignored all of my dishes yesterday, so look at this. I knew I was gonna be looking for things to do today. I didn't bother doing them. So just do them today. I didn't even clean up after myself. Ah! <sighs> Literally been laying in bed for an hour. Fine. Do the day. Literally just been laying in bed not doing a damn thing. But I just got up to take a look at the progression of this snowstorm and I got some neighbors who are apparently very, very interested in leaving. The best of luck to you. Oh, that sucks. He's literally, he shoveled out around the car and the, sh the snow around him is up to his waist. Wow, he's shoveling off his windshield. Good luck. I'm staying right here. <laughs> I had to get out of the bathroom because I didn't feel like I was going to get anything done. This storm! Ah, stupid. Stupid, my poor car. There's no snow on top of my car, but it's all the way up. Oh my gosh, I would never be able to get into my driver's side door. Oh, boo. I feel like I should probably take a, a wander out and do like what those people were doing and shoveling out from around the car so that way tomorrow when I have to get up and go to work, I can at least get to my car. I'm glad to see that the wind is blowing a lot of the snow off of the top of my car because I usually don't park over there. I usually park in this first row, but it looks like all these cars on the first row are so blocked by the building that none of the snow is getting blown off, but being parked over there, it's getting blown off my car. So that's pretty cool. Cool, my back hurts. I went to the gym yesterday because I had the forethought that I wouldn't be able to go this morning. So I went yesterday and I'm really glad that I did. But now my back, I think I didn't do things very carefully. I am hungry. Banana? Yeah, okay. I've literally been on the internet all morning. I just now got out of bed and have sat up like a real person. I've just been laying my bed on my laptop. I don't know what I'll do today. It's Quarter to 12, I guess the day is young, I don't know. I had enough forethought to go to the gym, but I didn't have enough to buy food. I've decided that for this week, I'm gonna track the food that I eat using my Fitbit. And it's really hard to try to track that stuff. And I feel like when I do, I'm more aware of the things that I'm putting into my body because I have to type them into the app. And this is when eating the same things over and over really pays off because they're easy to find because they just pop right back up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I still need to make coffee. I just don't want to clean out my French press. Who do you think you are? Literally begging. What do you want? You have food. Just because I'm eating it doesn't mean I'm gonna give you any. You're not gonna like this anyway. You're not gonna like it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Told ya. I've decided that I'm too bored to keep being on the internet, so I've decided to read. I'm reading A Boy Named Shell, The Life and Times of Shell Silverstein by Lisa Rogak. And I got this book, I think I had mentioned this before, maybe I didn't. Got this book sent to me in the mail at work, and it's very exciting to get a package. It's even more exciting to get a package at your work. But Tim, a man that I used to work with, sent it to me with a post-it note. Came across this while out thrifting. Enjoy! And it was just really sweet and really lovely because when we worked together we did a lot of um, hanging up shells, Silverstein poems, and stuff around the room. I didn't know that he wrote A Boy Named Sue. This is an amazing book. I love biographies anyway. Biographies and autobiographies are my favorite genre. And this is really interesting. He was a very, very interesting man and I am on page 138 right now. His life just sounds like it was so interesting. I wish that I could live like him in certain ways, not in all the ways, but in just in some ways. He's very interesting. Do recommend. I've been drinking coffee out of my French press and I think that I just keep making it with too much coffee. I've tried to lower it and everything. Maybe I should start cutting it because I am starting to get a huge stomach ache. Yay! Again, always with the stomach aches. If only I did something to keep it from happening. Like not drink so much ridiculously strong coffee. That would help. What up? Mom just texted me to make sure that I was safe and that I was home and that I wasn't going anywhere and to let me know that if I needed anything to let them know because my dad's been out and about. But uh, it's pretty safe to say that I'm not trying to go anywhere in this. Look at those cars over there. <sighs> yeah, I'm not trying to 
not trying to leave. Like I said, I think I'm gonna go out later to just kind of shovel around, especially the driver's side, because the wind's blowing this way, so all of the snow is on the driver's side of my door. I think I'm gonna go out later, just kind of brush that off, shovel my car out. I think I'm gonna do that around four. I'll probably wear my GoPro just to kind of show how much snow is out there, so there won't be any audio, but we'll do a fun little montage. It'll be great. Be great! I cut my coffee. I put water in it this time, so it's less like sludge, and hopefully this will help the uh, unnecessary stomach pains that I bring upon myself because I'm an idiot. I'm feeling more awake though. The coffee has definitely helped with that and the headache that I had started getting is gone. Did I just do this to myself? Okay. Uh, the headache that I had started getting is going away. So I think the coffee helped in that aspect. Not so much with the stomach part. I do have my GoPro charging. So I am gonna go outside in this later. I'm gonna have to dress very warmly. <sighs> I think I spoke to this in a different video, but I don't like snow and I realize I live in a snowy environment and that this happens every year around this time. I'm not surprised by it. I know I shouldn't bitch about it because I knew it was gonna happen, but ah! I'm also starting to feel a little cabin fevery because I've left my apartment once in the last three days. Only conversation I had was with the greeter person at the front desk of the gym, so. Yeah. Oh what my gosh, did anyone else see that the man from Maine won, what is it called? Alone? Is it just called Alone? But he won and he spent like something like 89 days by himself with just him and a camera. I can last the weekend. And plus I got Mulligan, you know? It can always be worse. Right, Boo Boo? Yeah, the only problem is you're not much of a- Oh, what's wrong? What's wrong with your eye? Baby, what's wrong? Oh no, what's wrong? Okay. Oh, are you okay? I thought your eyeball fell out. Are you okay? Did you just get stuck? Oh, baby. You're so weird. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my goodness. I love you so much. I'm glad your eye's not infected. Oh, good boy. <laughs> my god, what are you doing? You get your claw stuck? Yes. Every time. There you go. You're so dumb. So I don't have a GoPro head mount, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear a hat. And I'm going to clamp my GoPro with this to the brim. Well, that's only really heavy. Ah, this is how cool I'm going to look. So you're welcome for taking you outside. The biggest tool in the complex. Okay, I think I'm ready to go outside. Ready, go. <laughs> I hate it. Luckily, it's not so much snowing anymore as it is just blowing around, but look at my sweatpants. Oh my gosh, snow removal. One great reason to have a man around, but I am a strong, capable woman, but that shit sucks. <laughs> I call this look, what do you mean I can't play for your Little League baseball team? Braids and backwards hat. And also my name's Sam. Tell me the percentage of times where like the girl who is actually gonna play on the baseball team, her name is Sam, right? That's just the name it is. What do you mean I can't play on your Little League baseball team? Look at this stupid sock combination I've got going on. I'm really embarrassed, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Oh my god. I'm looking so damn good. I just hate myself sometimes. <laughs> 
so the storm is so bad that there are surrounding schools that have already canceled for tomorrow so two-day storm cancellation going on here but our school hasn't canceled yet so we've got a group message that we have at work it's just everyone going nope not yet not yet oh my god mulligan could you maybe not on the carpet but we're all just kind of waiting and texting each other to see if our school will get canceled tomorrow. So I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> He's having a great time. Where are you, you little brute? What are you doing? You're such a silly little cat. You're such a silly little kitty. Aren't you handsome? Oh, my fan. It's a good boy. So staticky today. Stop scratching the carpet. I would get him a scratching post, but I know that he won't use it. I am all ready for bed. There was no text saying that work was canceled for tomorrow, so I should definitely go to bed so I can get up early and shovel the rest of my car out. <sighs> oh, handsome little booger. Are you all done out there playing with my gloves? Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.